Hello Capricorn, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead, my beautiful Earth Cousins. How are you? Thank you so much for showing up here. If you are brand brand new and you've never been here before, welcome. We like to be in the comments around here, some of us, so if you like to be in the comments, please let me know that you're new. I just want to greet you. Thank you for doing that. If you like this content, please offer a thumbs up. It's the way we're helping, uh, to, the way everybody here is helping uh, grow this channel. Thank you so much for doing that. And if you are someone who's always clicking here, my ride or die, you know who you are, right? The one who's always in the comments, always clicking, watching thumbs up, sharing, all of that beautiful stuff. Thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate you. This reading is always going to be for the week ahead, my friends, and uh, this is no, no different. So whether you find this today, tomorrow, or next year, whenever you find it, it's always be for the week ahead. Let's find out what's going on. We're going to look at the psychic tarot, then we'll look at the regular tarot, and we'll find out what's going on for you, Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Capricorn, please. We do have Stand Your Ground, the Seven of Wands. Somebody's got their boundaries in place. I like it. We've got um, the card number eight, which is Power, and that is the Strength card. Uh, I feel like you are comfortably behind your boundaries here. You're holding back. Even though you know that you can move forward at any time, I feel like you're comfortably behind your boundaries here, victoriously even. That's what it feels like. And then we have foundation and achievements. I feel like you've got your back to whatever, whoever is trying to get in on your boundaries here. I feel like you're not really concerned about what everyone else is doing, Capricorn. I think you're just doing your own thing. I think you're... I think you're happy. I want to say that you've come to the end of a hard time, that maybe you found a new place to live. Maybe you found a family. Um, maybe you live in a family. Maybe it's 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 um, uh, children that you live with, possibly, uh, or maybe you have a spouse as well. Take it as it resonates. But we do have uh, the foundation and achievements here. I like it. So it feels like there is something something solid here. I want to say that you found your stability your happiness, your stability, maybe a new home, possibly. We do have partnerships and alliances. Yeah, it feels like there's people that are on your side, that you do have partnerships, that you are um, you are moving along quite well on your own. Yeah, that's what it feels like here. We do have the third eye chakra. There you are. That's why. Because you are now seeing everything for what it really is. You're seeing things with clarity. You're no longer ignoring things. You're being very honest with yourself. And you're... you're um, I would say that you are looking at things and when you see them, I feel like you are talking about them. You are trying to figure those things out. You're no longer ignoring things, I want to say. Let's take a look at some tarot. Tell me about uh, Capricorn on this Earth Day, please. Tell me about Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Capricorn, please. You stand in your ground on here, my friend. The Eight of Swords. So you haven't made a decision about something. You feel almost a little bit trapped in the mind, I'm going to say. You feel like you're, you're thinking about something obsessively. And I think that's the reason why you're standing your ground or the reason why you've got these boundaries up here. Because you're feeling a little bit vulnerable in the Eight of Swords. Like feeling like your hands are tied. You don't know what... You can't make a decision about something here. We do have the Knight of Cups, but in the reverse. Very interesting. So we do have the strength. So you're holding back, it feels, from some sort of romantic connection. Oh, look at that. I like that. There you are. You are the Empress. I want to say that, you know, I always say that Capricorn is the one that's manifesting being the Empress. I don't think you're manifesting it anymore. I think you are the Empress, to be honest. I feel like you are, it, it, you you have learned the lessons of all of the queens, I feel. Um, uh, feminine or masculine, right? It doesn't have to always be feminine energy when we see a woman on the card. Um, this is feminine leaning energy, so mostly feminine, but also as masculine energy, right? Um, but it could be a woman or a man. So we do have the foundation and achievements, and that's why you're thriving here, because the Empress is the one who loves to keep the home fires burning, who loves to dote, loves to decorate, loves to make things look beautiful, loves to make a, um, a beautiful space for her family and herself to live in. So you're showing up as the Emperor here. It almost feels like with this um with this um strength card here it feels like your strength is in your foundational achievements that's what it feels like you feel the most um productive you feel the strongest when you are you know engaged in your own business when you're not 
we're not worrying about other people. Um, but I feel like there there is something here that we need to talk about in the Eight of Swords. Let's talk about that a little bit more. We do have the death, or sorry, the devil. The devil energy here. It feels like there is something toxic that you're thinking about on a loop. And um, the Knight of Cups being in the reverse does give me the energy of maybe some unrequited love. Or maybe that you had feelings for someone and they didn't have the feelings for you. Um, or you told someone about your feelings and they, they didn't receive it. And um, maybe you're just holding back. It also could be that somebody told you about that. It could be someone is sharing their feelings with you and you are in this unrequited love position where you're like, no, I'm, I'm concentrating on me and my foundation, my kids, uh, whatever it is that you've got going on in your life. Maybe you don't have kids, maybe you have animals, right? Um, we do have um, the five of cups here. And so this this night in the reverse is is lending to a little bit of sadness here, regret and sadness. What else do we have for Capricorn, please? We do have the um, the, the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. I want to say that you were willing to put in the effort on something here that someone else was not willing to put the effort in on. What's this? got the seven of pentacles so it feels like you did throw your seeds of intention and you decided i've just got to go another direction and the direction you took was the right direction because i feel like you're thriving and i think i've said that in your readings before i've been kind of excited to watch you heal yourself get your own home thriving you're turning into the empress you're learning lessons you're inviting lessons here you've got friends uh, you've got people either people that live with you in your home or you've got friends and allies people who are helping you along i think that you're now um you are addressing the things that you see. You're no longer turning away from the things that crop up here. I feel like you're addressing things as they show up. I feel like you're you're in your head about, about someone who possibly lends some toxic energy to you. It feels like with this devil energy here, it feels like you feel chained to something. I don't know if you're if you're struggling with some sort of an addiction possibly, but this can also feel like you're chained to your thoughts. It feels like they're toxic thoughts though, um, and we'll clarify that more, but the toxicity I feel is something you're feeling about yourself. It could be a different person, but let's take a look here. I'm just going to pull another clarification deck here. Let's find out what's going on. Tell me about the Eight of Swords, please. Why is uh, Capricorn stuck in their head here? I think if it's not toxicity here, if it's not toxic thoughts, I think it's like negative thoughts, doubt, um, things like that. Tell me about the Eight of Swords, please. Why is the Eight of Swords here? We've got the Queen of Pentacles. We've got... Um, the five of swords and we do have the page of pentacles so i feel as though the thoughts that are in your head are about money first of all i feel like um even though you are in a place where you are stable financially like i feel like you're stable financially but i don't think you have more than you need i feel like that's an as an aspiration for you i think you're aspiring to be that but i think with the five of swords and the page of pentacles it's like what if the finances dry up that's what you're thinking here it feels like um you're it feels like you're that you don't have a very good relationship with money that maybe it comes in and it flows out and it comes in and it flows out and maybe maybe it's time for you to start thinking about saving maybe this is something that you are stuck in your head about it feels like you no know, it feels like you are working and the money's coming in but it feels like it feels like with this energy here that it is like you're in a disagreement or a battle with yourself. That's what it feels like with the Eight of Swords here. And that um, that you're putting in the energy that you need to put in in order to get out what you need to get out. But it feels like you're just making it, like you're just making ends meet. I feel like that that could be something that you're worried about here or something that you're thinking about obsessively. Why is the devil here, please? We do have the Hierophant, we have the Ace of Swords, and we have the Eight of Cups. The Hierophant, it's like you're learning a lesson to speak aloud 
after you disconnected from somebody or something. We do have the devil here, which is Capricorn energy, but it doesn't feel like your energy. I feel like your energy is here, which is the Queen of Pentacles. So I want to say that you are, you gave some words to someone and you disconnected from them. And I feel like you walked away from something toxic is what I want to say. It feels like that's what the devil energy is here. They don't even have to be a Capricorn. That could be any sign. But you were engaging with someone here that was very toxic or had maybe they had an addiction or they were doing something obsessively that was hurting them spiritually, physically, mentally, financially. And I feel like you finally stood up and said something because you know that you were being held to a higher standard by the universe. It feels like you finally stood up and said, I'm not taking this anymore. I can't deal with the way that you're being toxic. I want to say that it, it might be that it's a little bit of scarcity that you're living in here in the Eight of Swords, because I feel like when you were with this person, whoever they are, whatever their sign is, when you were with this person, I feel like maybe they were a person who was, um, I feel like you were waiting for them to commit to you here you were waiting for the commitment but it never was to come and so i feel like you walked away i also feel like um now you're on your own and maybe that's why you're up in your head about your finances or maybe i need to get maybe i need to find a new job or you know the page of pentacles is something new it's a new path uh, if I need to find my way to something new, I'm on a new path. And it feels like you're throwing this coin in the air. It's like, I don't really know what to do. So I'm just going to throw the coin in the air. And if it's heads, I go. And if it's tails, I stay. That's what it feels like here. But you're kind of stuck in your head here. Um, tell me about the uh, Knight of Cups in the reverse, please. Yeah, you got the heck out of there. I feel like you realized that this was an unrequited love situation. You got the heck out of there here. Um, somebody wasn't wasn't showing you all of their feelings on the surface. And I feel like there was an internal struggle with you. Like you thought it was something you did. But I don't think it was something you did. I think it, that they were just a toxic person. And they had you stuck in your head thinking that you were toxic too. But I think it was not until you broke away from them and got some clarity that you realized that you're actually in the Hierophant energy. You're actually someone who's quite spiritual. You're very, you know, very, very much about about watching um, things come up and taking care of those things right away. And with this uh, this energy of the devil in your life, I don't think you could. I think it was just a constant worry about the toxicity that was going on in this relationship here. We do have the hanged man. So I feel like you still think about this person. So this is unrequited love. I feel like it's unrequited on your part, though. I think you told someone to take a hike is what I think. I think you you decided to break away from the devil. You walked away. You emotionally disconnected. This person had you up in your head thinking you didn't have enough. You weren't enough. You couldn't do enough. And I feel like you just kind of broke away from them. And I feel like although you left some sort of um, uh, a commitment behind, I feel as though that you are probably closer to healing now than you ever were. I feel like with the knight uh, in the reverse that you do have romantic feelings for them, but I feel like you no longer wanted to give those romantic feelings. And that's what I mean by unrequited. It's like they were saying, they were saying, but I want to stay, I want to stay. And you're like, no, get out. I don't want to do this anymore. And so I feel like you move on and you do really good by yourself here with the Empress energy, although I think feel that you're still sad that this whole thing did not work out for you. Uh, we do have the Moon energy. We have the Two of Wands. Yeah, you make a decision. You make a decision maybe to go back to school or learn something about you or the situation or learn something about what you're seeing in the third eye. I think that the reason that you decided to leave here is because of this, because of the third eye, because you finally did see the situation for what it was. And then you're like, wait a second. I'm unprotected. I got to put up my boundaries and I got to be strong because this person is probably going to end up trying to come back and, and say, I want you back. Right. So this hanged man energy tells me that you kind of feel stuck. You feel stuck and you're beating yourself up about it, but you had to move on. And I don't think you felt good about it, but I feel like it was all for your learning because I think you go from the queen of pentacles to the empress. You end up learning all the other lessons and you end up learning not only the pentacle lesson here, which I think is to come, but I think that you learn the queen of swords, the queen of cups and the queen of wands. You learn how to go at it by yourself. You learn how to love yourself. You learn how to speak up and be wise. 
tell me about this page. I feel like something new is coming here for you. I want to say that after all of this has gone on, I feel like you're looking good, smelling good. You're the empress. You've got your foundation. You're achieving things in your life. You've got friends here. It feels like uh, with the page of pentacles that there is a new opportunity that's going to show up here for you. Um, pretty soon Capricorn. Um, it could be somebody who's an Aquarius. Uh, we do have the Ten of Swords and then we have the Six of Wands. So it feels like you've kind of lost hope about this situation. I don't think you're going back. I don't think you'll take them back. I feel like your intuition is telling you, like this Pisces energy, you've had a chance to look at it from all corners while you've been alone. And so I feel like it's it's the it's the um um, you've you've been able to look at it from a different perspective now and although I feel like you still are kind of in this energy of beating yourself up I feel like you knew that you had to go with the chariot energy you knew that you could not hang on to this any longer so it does feel like there is healing here and so we do have the healing of the ending right we do have the star and so I feel like you have more hope now since this thing has ended since you're out of the clutches of the devil I feel like the ten of swords is actually a good thing because don't forget that when we get to the ten of swords you're actually released after this you go to the ace of swords right this is the release yes it's painful and awful and terrible but this is finally releasing you from these ten swords as they were you know they go from the one to the two to the three and the swords are really hard right it's really super hard i think you were in a a sword sort of energy because we do have you in the eight of swords but finally you get out of your head right and it's not until the devil's gone it's not until you walk away so i feel like you're here right now i feel like you are in a place here where you are thriving people are noticing that you're thriving i feel you have friends around you i feel like you're reaching the victory here i feel like you're getting a lot of attention because you're looking beautiful or handsome you're doing really good at taking care of yourself here tell me about the partnerships and alliances here it feels like there is something new coming in here because you've chosen to let go of the old thing i'm going to just put one more card down here yeah i feel like you are going to be in some sort of uh, relationship that goes to the next level it feels like there is an opportunity that is currently um, coming to fruition but I don't think you see it yet it's currently coming to fruition in the 3d but it's not here quite yet I think you're very focused on you though tell me about partnerships and alliances we've got uh, the four swords we've got healing we've got a lot of communication we've got the queen of wands here and so I feel like I feel like you're looking as attractive as you ever have in your whole life. I feel like you're feeling better. You're looking better. You're very attractive. I feel like you're attracting conversation. You're attracting people who are texting you. Things are moving really quickly and forward in your life. It's because you've done this healing with the Four of Swords. We do have the Nine of Swords. We have the... Um, the page of cups and we have the six of swords i think you are worried that the devil's going to call back i feel like you're worried that this this toxic person here is going to try and re-enter your life it worries you but i feel like with the page of cups here and the um and the six of swords i think you're on to bigger and better things i just want to say that this is um this is a uh, new love i feel like there is new love here coming for you and i feel like it's because you've decided to move on and good for you i really love that look you stay disconnected from the devil because you don't need that energy anymore you're in this energy of growing right i think you need to hold back and make sure that you're growing in this energy it feels like at sometimes it feels like there's no hope but i feel like that's because you're at the crossroads of your life and because you're single and i think you're staying single for now i don't think you need anybody you're abundant enough on your own i really do feel like you are waiting for the right person to come along i'm going to leave that right there for you capricorn i hope you are well thank you so much for watching here and i hope to hear from you in the comments i'm going to go for now but i'll be back because i'm always back love you guys Bye bye